Today, let's make a song using the Blocks feature available in Reason 5 and Record 1.5. Blocks is a pattern-based way of working that makes arranging, brainstorming, experimentation and songwriting much more productive. I'll start by creating a new song and record. Then, I'll switch from song mode to block mode. Block mode is where I do the bulk of my writing and layering. I can double-click the title of this block and name it Main Beat. Now, I just add my instruments and audio tracks like I always have in Reason or Record. Working inside a block is no different than what I'm already used to. Since you're watching a micro tutorial, you probably don't want to watch me build up my idea in real time. So if I just sprinkle a little magic powder over the screen, snap my fingers, a puff of smoke, and poof. Huh. That should have worked. Hang on. Yeah, okay. I forgot about this switch over here. So, here's my track so far. I've got an 8-bar loop with a lot happening, but the real question is this. How do I get from this loop to a full song? We've all probably been in this spot many times before. With blocks, I simply switch back to song mode, select the pencil tool, and draw the new block into the sequencer, and it automatically loops for me. My block contains a variety of drums, some bass, guitar, an arpeggiator, a lead synth, and a vocal slice but I don't want all of those parts to play from the start. I'll use the razor tool to separate the first eight bars and the mute tool to disable everything but the bass and percussion. Now the intro sounds more intro-ish, but I don't really want these chord changes to happen in the intro either. I can resize the block to the first four bars, copy that, and paste it. Now I have an intro with just one bass note. On the second time through, I'll unmute a couple drum tracks for a slight buildup. Cool. Now I'm ready for my track to fully kick in. I'll separate bar 8 and mute everything but the percussion. Doing this gives the song more impact when everything else enters on bar 9. This is a lot of song structure coming from what was once just an 8-bar loop. Using blocks doesn't lock you into only using patterns, however. Your pattern-based material can go in blocks, while your linear elements can lay right on top in song mode. For example, I went ahead and made a new block called Verse. I copied, pasted, and chopped sections from my original block to create a new 4-bar pattern. Now, I can go back to song mode, draw it into the timeline, and then record a vocal line over the top of the verse block. You can see that even though my verse is a four-bar loop, the vocal isn't confined to the boundaries of that loop. It lays over the top of my blocks in the normal linear timeline of the song mode. It's this multi-layer interaction between block mode and song mode that makes production so productive, no pun intended. If I have something like a fill that only occurs once, I can put it on my timeline in song mode. Watch. I'll take the last bar of my verse, chop it up into eighth notes, and delete every other section. This gives a stuttering effect. Over the top of this block, I'll add one-off fill elements, a reverse cymbal sample, and a blip noise. Finally, I'll draw my main beat in to follow my verse. There's just one thing that's bugging me about the lead line. I wish it was gated. I can double-click the main beat to view it in block mode. I'll automate the volume level to create the gate effect I'm after. When I switch back to song mode, you can see that every occurrence of the block has the gated automation. I made the change once without having to copy and paste automation regions throughout my entire song. I can't tell you how many times I've felt more free to experiment knowing that if I add something new, it automatically populates throughout my song, and if I want to change it later, it's just a single change. Today I'll play you out with my song from the beginning. I hope you've seen some of the ways that blocks will help you in your songwriting and production. 
If you're a singer-songwriter, you can create blocks for verse, chorus, and bridge to make song structure a snap. If you're a beat producer, then breaks, buildups, and beat drops have never been easier. Oh, 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 oh,